Hello! Welcome to What's Brewing with Boylston. I'm your host, Haley Brin. We have a lot to talk about this month, so let's get started. First, we will be heading over to the Beeman Memorial Library to go talk with Anna and Sue. Hi, I'm at the Beeman Memorial Library to talk with Anna and Sue. Anna, what's going on in the month of April? This month, we have our usual ongoing programs. So, as you probably know, we will be expecting to have Carol to teach yoga class. That'll be on Wednesday, April 17th at 6.30 p.m. It's strongly recommended that you sign up for this program because it's a very popular class. Our monthly book discussion group will meet on Thursday, April 18th at 12.30, and they'll be discussing the readers of Broken Wheel Recommend. And then our Italian Conversation Circle, which meets on on the second and fourth Saturdays of the month, we'll be meeting on Saturday, April 13th, and Saturday, April 27th, from 10 to 12 p.m. Our special events, we are having our Enchanted Evening Silent Auction Fundraiser. That's a fundraiser for the library's endowment. That'll be held on Friday, April 5th, from starting at 7 p.m. at the Manor. Tickets are $25 and are on sale at the library now. And National Library Workers' Day is Tuesday, April 9th. We'll be celebrating that with a fundraiser at Dairy Queen in West Boylston. So from 5 to 8 p.m., stop by the West Boylston Dairy Queen and 10% of all sales will go to benefit the library's endowment. On Tuesday, April 16th, we're having a special presentation with Doug Horka, who um, can tell us about the veteran services that are available for veterans and their dependents. So join us to learn more about their employment, vocational, educational opportunities, healthcare, and more. They'll be talking about both Massachusetts and federal benefits. Starting a new cookbook club, and this month we'll be talking about microgreens. So that'll be Thursday, April 25th at 6.30 p.m. We're gonna have microgreens available at the library, and you can stop by to pick up some microgreens and then check out our recipe books and see if there's something that strikes your fancy. You can bring in a dish to share or just come and get ideas. We're going to make some salads and some smoothies and talk about other recipes. We'll also be doing an Oscar movie series, so the winners and nominees will be starting on Wednesday, April 24th. Then we will show more movies on Wednesday, May 1st, and the final series will be on Wednesday, May 8th. That, those movies will start at 5.30 p.m and you need to sign up so that we know how many, how many people to expect. And then finally, we'll be having a financial literacy program. Our, um, our friends from Webster First Federal Credit Union will be coming out to discuss different types of identity theft. And that program will be on Tuesday, April 30th at 6.30 p.m. So s sign up for these programs and we hope to see you at the library. Thank you so much for talking with me today. You're welcome. Now we're going upstairs to the children's room to talk with Sue. Hi, I'm here with Sue in the children's room. What's going on in the month of April? Well, in April we're starting out on um, the week of April 9th, which is Tuesday, for celebrating National Library Week here. Um, every day that you come in and you check out a book, then you'll get a raffle ticket for a raffle prize that will be drawn at the end of the week. Um, that's in the children's room. Um, we're going to have a drop-in book to craft daily um, during this week. Um, you're going to read the story with your child, and then there'll be craft items to make something to go along with the book. And that'll be all day long until we run out of craft paper, but we never do. <laughs> um, so that'll be all the week. We have a celebrity story time on Tuesday, April 9th from 6.30 to 7 p.m. and we'll have a surprise guest here to read stories to the kids that come in. So that's a drop in. Um, we also are beginning our, on um, Tuesday, April 9th, we're beginning our annual, third annual Peep Show Diorama. So submissions begin that day. Um, you can sign up for that here in the children's room. Um, if you need a box, we have boxes. If you have your own shoe box or whatever and you use the uh, marshmallow peeps to make some kind of rendition of a book. Um, and people will start voting on them during school vacation week. So the sooner you get your, your items in, um, the more people will look at it and be able to vote on it. Um, we'll have Tween Pizza and Pages on Wednesday, April 10th 
from 6.30 to 7.15. That's for children 4th um, through 7th grade um, that read a book and they come in and they say a little bit about the book, a little short book talk about it without telling the ending, and we serve pizza. That's a sign-up program. On Friday, uh, Thursday, April 11th, we have Make a Beautiful Keychain for your library card. That'll be out all day while supplies last. Um, we'll have a Tuesday, a Lego building challenge from 2 to 3. Um, sign up and we'll have um, challenge cards and Legos and you can um, have to challenge yourself to create whatever the card says, whatever you draw. Whether it's a replica of yourself in Legos or what your house looks like or a dream spaceship or whatever. That's for any age that likes Legos. On Wednesday the 17th we have large murals that will be out on the table in the children's room and those are out for people to color um, and then we'll hang those after they're completed. Thursday from April 18th from 11 to 11.30 we will have a drop-in story time here and Friday we're going to have a movie that will be announced um, on April 19th from 2 to 4 p.m. Also on Friday, I guess earlier in the day, we have a story time and craft with author Susan Donahue Colby. She's going to be reading her book, How Jack Got Flat. It's a very humorous book. And she will talk about a little bit about how she got her book published and read the book and do a craft that goes along with the book. Um, it's a very humorous story. I really enjoyed it. Um, it deals with how to adapt to change, and it's about a cat. Um, she will also be here to autograph copies that she will have for sale. On Tuesday, April 23rd at 6.30 p.m., we'll have an Earth Day story time here. We'll hear some stories about taking care of the Earth, as well as send you home with some plants because plants help purify the indoor air and make life very pleasant. I really like plants. Uh, tween sleepover, I don't mind craft. And that's on Friday the 26th. That's a sign up for kids in grades 5th through 8th grade um, from 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. And we'll be sleeping over in the library the tween only night, no parents. And the theme of this will be Minecraft or crafts, with whichever floats your boat. Um, and we'll have activities for the people that attend. They have to bring um, whatever they want to sleep on and pillows. And it will be um, not a tech night. They will have to put away their, their uh, cell phones and whatnot um, during the early part of the evening while we do the activities. And I don't care what time they go to bed. I'll be up all night with them. Um, so that is a sign up sheet and they are to be picked up at 8 a.m. I'll serve some breakfast and send them all home after breakfast. Um, oh, Mother's Day celebration will be Friday, May 10th, that's coming. Um, in addition to all of those, um, we have pizza and pages that I spoke of. We have books and brownies. Um, that is the first Wednesday in April. Um, from 6.30 to 7.15, all ages that read, um, they share a book that they've read from the library, and I serve brownies. Um, that's a sign-up, so I make sure I have enough. Baxter, our therapy dog um, for Wagon Tails, will be here on the first Wednesday and the third Wednesday in April. Um, and we'll have Pokemon the last Wednesday of the month. On the first Friday of the month, we have Flannel Board Stories um, from 11 to 11.30, where the kids tell the story with flannel board pieces as they read the story. And then we also have on the, th no, I moved it because I'm not here, April vacation week. Um, the, the Friday after April vacation week, we have another um, book to craft that I'm gonna do with the kids. Um, I read the book and they do the craft that goes along with it. Um, I think that's all, um, all we have going on. I think that the uh, CFC grant people will be here for the first two weeks in April and then they'll be done until the fall. 
um, with their Wednesday morning program that runs from 10 to 11.30 in the morning. Um, right after April vacation, we'll have sign-ups for our last Books and Blankies class, Books and Blankies, Books and Blankies at 10, 9 in the morning on Thursday mornings, and a senior class at 11.15 for four-year-olds and up that are out of school. So come on in and sign up for the programs. Give us a call if you want to know more about the programs, and I'll be more than happy to let you know what's going on. Thanks. Thank you. Welcome. Well, here's a message from the West Boylston Manor. Every Thursday night, 7 to 9, there's still trivia. Now here's a message from the West Boylston Senior Center. On May 4th, they'll be having an open house for their brand new Senior Center. In the month of April, going through April 11th is tax preparation still, so call and make an appointment. And there's two flower arrangement classes this month, so make sure you reserve your spot. On April 22nd, the Quilting Club at 10 a.m. is starting, and it will be on every Monday after that. That's all for this month's episode of What's Brewing in West Boylston. If you'd like to join me next month, please contact me at 774-287-6487 or email me at haleybrin18 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching!